In this demonstration, I'm going to show how to back up and verify the SQL database that currently sits on a NetApp storage system. For this example, I'll be using AdventureWorks database here, and you'll notice this database resides on an SMB share. I'm able to do this as I'm using clustered data on tap. Using SAP Manager for SQL, I'm presented with four options. Backup Restore, Scheduled Jobs and Reports. In this instance, I would like to run a backup, so I'll select that. I can then select my database. This example will be using the AdventureWorks SMB. And we can see the, the share volume here. Now I could use and run through the backup wizard, and this will present me with detailed explanations of each step. You'll probably find that you'll use this once or twice, and then once you're familiar with the product, there's actually a neat little shortcut here to back up and verify. If I select this, I'm presented with similar options to what's in the wizard, however it's on one single view page. I'm going to keep the, the default options here, but you'll notice I have some options around up to the minute restorability, and this is effectively streaming out the transaction logs so that we can restore to any point in time during that backup. So for example, if I had a failure at 11.37, I would be able to restore to 11.36. I can also select to run verification as part of my backup job. Now there are some smart options here. If I had a snap mirror or a DR site, I would be able to actually perform the verification over at my DR site by selecting this option. We use native SQL verification commands, such as dbcc, to verify that the backup was taken successfully. Also have an option for federated backup. Federated backup is useful for when you have an application that has multiple SQL databases across multiple servers. As part of this job, I can ensure that all the relevant databases are backed up simultaneously at the same point in time. This therefore gives me the restorability for, for that application. If I click backup now, we'll see that the NetApp system is going to run through these tasks in order to back up the SQL database. Most importantly, if we watch the timer on the right, we'll actually note that the backup job itself was completed within 13 to 14 seconds. Verification is a native command run on the SQL servers, and, and that is dependent on how busy your SQL server is. Verification is best performed out of hours or on a DR site. You'll also notice I have a verbose report here of all the tasks that were executed as part of this backup job. And that's it. We have a full successful backup completed.